and one thing that makes Jen stand out, I think, I think would be the fact that he is very reliable and he takes a lot of ownership in what he does. Nah. Yeah, so I think when he really has commitment towards something, he is not someone that will bother about how inconvenient it is for him. Like he will really go out of his way to protect something that he loves. Nah. A lot of ups and downs and everything. So we also go through various challenges, but I, uh, at every low point, she's always very supportive. Uh, and even if I cannot see where I'm hitting or how can I be better or whether or not I can even get something out of it, she would still be very supportive and can still see the potential. Uh, yeah. So in that sense, I would say she's also very supportive and her belief in me is very strong. When this situation happened, right? Uh, I have this theory that okay, all my boyfriends, right, have to be approved by my dog. So I, I have this theory, and it, honestly, it's been true. You can say my dog growls towards this person, right? This person is a bad person. So Toby has like, like James has called like past Toby's test. But I'm really very glad lah, like that, because James is not and doesn't really like love dogs, but he takes the effort to. To know, learn to love what I love, uh, which is I think is very difficult. Yeah. And like talking means a lot to me. Uh, and I'm very glad he didn't make me choose. You know what I mean? Like some guys is like, oh you rather choose a dog or me. Like he, he I mean I'll, I'll choose my dog, uh, but as in <laughs> as in like like I'm very glad that he never like, made me choose and he never made me like he never asked me like oh who's more important to you. Like he knows it's a choice you can't make. It's like choosing between two kids. How can you say who is more important than like the other kid, right? Yeah, I think it's very... It's a very endearing part about him, uh. Yeah. Like he understands where I stand and he won't challenge that, yeah. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to involve SOSD in my pre-wedding shoot, right, was because I really believe in the organisation. Like, the vision this organisation has. And I think it's not about having more shelters in Singapore, it's about raising awareness and educating people about like streets in Singapore. I think it's all about ensuring that you are educated enough to give something that might seem a bit foreign a second chance. I think it's to raise awareness and show the public that like dogs with like complete strangers are like because before the shoot the dogs have not, never met the humans. Huh? I, I but they go along like instantaneously, no fights. I, I really want to prove that even a dog even though a dog is feral, right, it can be domesticated if you use the right ways and they can really integrate very well with your like, everyday life uh. yeah, and, they, and that stigma of like oh dogs are very aggressive uh, or like they will bite uh, all these are just like misconceptions yeah, that really need to be overthrown uh.